What's up everybody? It is Godzilla Fan 17 here back with another video review and today we will be looking at the new Bandai 2019 Space Godzilla and I believe it came out in January. I think it's January. What is it? It's April now, so I'm just like two or three months late. But uh it's still a a new figure. So, anyways, here's the tag. You got a nice picture of Space Godzilla, he looks very intimidating. And you got uh basically a silhouette. I think it's yeah, the same same little picture just a silhouette in the back and then on the back of the card you got his shoulder crystal which looks very amazing so that's a beautiful tag anyway so on to the figure so the figure is detailed very very good as you can see it's just a huge step up from um from the very original bandai space godzilla that everybody hates that space godzilla is I have it, I'm gonna get to it later on in the video. It's just, oh my God. But um, looking at my figure, you can tell something's wrong with the legs. I don't know if they was warping when they were uh, when they were being shipped to me, but that's pretty disappointing. I mean, I can try to, I don't know. It ain't that bad though, so I ain't really tripping over it. But, uh, so yeah, detail on this figure is very, very amazing. So, um, I lost my train of thought for a minute. <laughs> but no, nah, so looking at him straight on, you can see that he has nice details on his shoulders that it just look, it look like rocks just built up on his shoulders. But that looks very, very amazing. And they captured that very well. It's on this shoulder too. His shoulder crystals also looks very, very amazing. They're not really that color in the movie, but I mean, it still looks very good. I like how, I mean, what they should have did, you notice how his skin kind of forms into the crystal. They should have did that on the uh, figure, but Maybe we'll get something like that in the future. But even though his spawns are not, I mean, his shoulder crystals are not completely movie accurate, they still look pretty amazing. His legs also look pretty amazing too. I like his kneecaps. Detail on his kneecaps is a, is very amazing. His legs still don't articulate though. So um, I kind of figured that they was going to do that when they announced that they was bringing this figure back or making a new one. So still no articulation in his legs, but that's cool. His arms, they look okay. Nice detail on them. Nice skin texture on them. His uh, hands... They're pretty decent. He has some uh, bluish white fingernails, bluish white claws. I mean, I'm talking about fingernails, bluish white claws, and then bluish white toenails. And his stomach is very amazing. I love that. What color would you describe? I mean, what, what, what color would that be? It's red, but it's not red. It's something else. It's a little something more to it. But I love how it looks on his body. It just looks so amazing. I like how it goes up into the neck area. And it's also right here on his crystals, his shoulder crystals. His shoulder crystals has that color and then it's like, don't mind that noise. His shoulder crystal has that color and it's like a little bluish area right here. And then it forms into a, a yellowish bone white. So that's, that's detail, uh, pretty amazing too. His feet, the bottom of his feet, nothing much. His, uh, his face, of course, he has the, um, the yellow, I don't have, I have no clue what to call that. Yellow crown, <laughs> I don't know. But um, his teeth, his teeth look all right. They're, uh, I mean, it's not that bad, they look straight. His tusk on the side of his face, they also look straight. Here go to the other side. And he has a red tongue, no red at the root of the mouth. He has orange eyes and a black pupil. So, um, detail on his face is pretty amazing. He's a huge step up from the original Bandai Space Godzilla, like a huge step up. So I'm, I'm just very happy that they brought this figure back. And not only is he a huge step up, but like in detail wise, he's also taller. So he'll, he'll scale better with the Bandai Heisei Godzilla that everybody has. So, um, detail on his, uh, I guess crystals? Well, no, not the crystals, dorsal plates. So um, detail on his um, dorsal plates are pretty amazing too. I love that whitish, yellowish bone color that they have. It's a little black and then it fades, like the black fades away into the, well no, if you start at the tip, it's yellow, yellowish white bone color, then it fades into black. So um, that's pretty amazing. They didn't, like right here, for some odd reason, these aren't painted and I just think that's just completely lazy. But um, the, um, Spawns or dorsal, dorsal plates go all the way to the tip of his tail and they kind of got a little lazy right there Just spray painted that white and his tail is not The end of his tail is not painted That's pretty disappointing, but detail on his tail is pretty amazing too. You can see the little scale pattern 
or the ridge pattern that goes all the way to the tip of the tail. So, um, and then it's the same thing on the other side. So I don't know why the tip of his tail didn't get painted or whatever. I was trying to get my camera to focus, but no, I don't know why they didn't paint the tip of his tail. That's just them being lazy. They could have did it because Ben I Creations, <coughs> their tip of their tail is uh, painted. So, um, uh, Detail on him is pretty good. Huge step up from what the old one used to be. So articulation, his hands go in and out. Well, his arms go in and out. They can't rotate 360. So you can have him like that, or you can have him like that. You can have him like down to the side. He's pretty, he's squishy, but not too squishy. So the older figures used to be very hard, like rocks. But yeah, so his arms, they rotate. His head goes 360, of course. And his tail, oh, crap, I didn't even know his tail went 360. I thought it was a glue seal. So that's one, two, three, four. That is four points of articulation. So not many poses you can get him in, but then again, this is a Bandai figure, not an SH or NECA figure. So at the end of the day, what poses can you get a Bandai figure in? It wouldn't look right. I don't know, it's just, it's just throw off the figure when you just move his head around. I don't know. <laughs> so, um. So yeah, that's articulation for him. Articulation is okay. He still can't rotate his legs, but I mean, it is what it is. So anyways, let's get on to some size comparisons. So first, we are going to compare him to the original Bandai Space Godzilla. And as you can see, look at the differences between them. Like his paint on his chest, like this area is just so lazily painted. His crystals may be more movie accurate, his shoulder crystals, but at the end of the day, like, well, both of them have that stupid gap, but I mean, his gap look way worse. Look at their backs, their back area. Like, you can tell they took their time with this figure and painted his back area way better. Like, he looks like everybody says this, and it's true. He looks like he has on a sweater. Like, his, it goes up to his neck like a turtleneck sweater, and that just looks very, very disappointing. So, uh... And then they go to the little size thing. He's bigger, so that's better. So he scales more better with your Heisei Godzilla. So it's a huge step up. Here go, uh, Bandai Creation Space Godzilla. And he's actually bigger than the Bandai Creation Space Godzilla too. Space Godzilla has is known for his, the Bandai Creation one is known for his candy corn crystals. <laughs> I do like that he doesn't have the gap like the Bandai Japan ones. And I love the design of his crystals too. But I actually like this figure more. It's taller. I feel like the detail is better. This figure is better than... This one is better than this one. This is actually the order of how I got them. I got this one first. I used to play with him a lot more when I was younger. So when I got him, I was mad at his height. So I ended up getting him. And now they made this one. So I had to get this one. And the reason why I got him, like I said, I was mad at this one's height. And it didn't scale right with my Heisei Godzilla. So these are two very... I mean, these are three good figures. It's just, it's in order from least to greatest, in my opinion. Worst, least worst, the best. All right, so now we're going to scale Godzilla, I mean, Space Godzilla up with, um, with Heisei Godzilla. And they scale up pretty good together. They look so much better than what this one had to offer. Like, look at that. Like, come on now. It's even... It's even worse with the with the Bend I Creation Space. I mean, it's not even worse, but it's still bad with the Bend I Creation Space Godzilla. But it's better with the new Bandai Space Godzilla. And Space Godzilla, of course, should be bigger than this because Space Godzilla is 120 meters. Godzilla is 100. So he should be right here. But this is still a huge improvement. And then you can get... Uh, you get Mogira. This is the 93 Godzilla, not the 94, but I mean, it's cool. You got Mogira. Mogira, he scales good with Space Godzilla 2. Mogira is also 120 meters, so they look pretty decent all together. So, um, excuse me. So I'm glad they, uh, I just noticed I'm always burping every time I'm, <laughs> every time I'm recording a video. But no, so I'm glad they improved the size on this new Space Godzilla. So we're going to compare him to, uh, three other monsters. Here he is compared to, uh, King Ghidorah, and sizing is pretty good. King Ghidorah 120, I mean, Space Godzilla 120, King Ghidorah 150. So, of course, he should be a little bit bigger, but these two do look good together. You can have them both coming at Godzilla at the same time. 
Well, God, oh my God, if Godzilla took on Space Godzilla and King Ghidorah at the same time, he'd be wrecked. And here he is compared to, hold on, Rick, real quick. Here he is compared to Mecha King Ghidorah, and these two look pretty decent together as well. I still haven't reviewed him yet. Might get around to it sooner or later. So that's them two compared to each other. And here is Bandai Creation Destroyer. And I brought him up because everybody loves to compare these two figures. I mean, these two monsters. Who will win between these two? That is a huge debate that goes around in the kaiju community. So, uh, I mean, I would say who I think will win, but it'll start probably a huge debate. <laughs> these are two beautiful uh, kaijus, though. A lot of people's favorite kaijus. So, um, yeah, and they, both of these kaijus gave Godzilla a hard problem. A good challenge, I should say. So, anyways, that was my review on the Bandai 2019 Space Godzilla. It's a beautiful figure. I suggest picking it up because it's a huge step up from the original Bandai figure. It's even a huge step up from the Bandai Creations figure. So, uh, I suggest p picking them up. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Peace out, everybody.